Hi, I'm Carl Upston Hooper, the General Counsel of Camco Clean Energy. As you can see, I am no longer in sunny Sharm El Sheikh, uh, but back home in Helsinki, enjoying our lovely Finnish weather. But uh, in terms of what happened at COP27, I thought we'd bring you this quick roundup uh, of what is now known as the Sharm El Sheikh Implementation Plan. The key uh, newsworthy item, the success if you like, is the loss and damage fund, something that developing countries, um, OASIS and LDCs have been seeking for the past 30 years and that's now on the books. Uh, the exact form and modalities of how much finance it will attract is still to be agreed uh, in the coming years. But that uh, long-standing grievance has been addressed and in that regard Sharm El Sheikh will always have a special place in the, in the, in the family of COPs. On the other hand uh, it's been perhaps slightly disappointing, a missed opportunity to build on the ambition of Glasgow. Um, those uh, perhaps more technical watchers of COP would have realised that the new uh, finance target, the work programme on increased uh, mitigation and the glo global adaptation goal were all items that were to be discussed at COP27 but not to be finalised at COP27. So they have been carried forward to COP28 in Dubai, um, which is framing that COP as, as really one about mitigation and our perhaps best chance, last chance even, of turning the corner uh, if we are to save the 1.5 degree target. Uh, the time for increased ambition was many years ago and if we don't turn the corner on peak emissions very soon then we are baking in 1.5, 2 degrees of warming um, for future generations. Other notables in the Sharm El Sheikh implementation plan were the reference to nature-based solutions uh, on the positive side um, and also the reference to the ongoing food crisis which is something that of course is very real to many in Africa. Uh, less helpful perhaps was this new additional wording on uh, low emission sources of energy which many in the environmental movement have taken to be code for carbon capture and storage or uh, gas use over, over coal use. There was a lot of discussion at COP27 on, on expanding the phasing down of coal to all fossil fuels. Uh, interestingly, this was led by India, um, but faced the uh, stiff opposition from Saudi Arabia and Russia and, and did not make it into the text. Uh, other items that should be part of a wrap up, um, Article 6, 6.2, uh, six Progressives, 6.4, uh, the mechanism is still on, in the process of development. Um, there was, you know, agreement on some important aspects of that, uh, but I feel that the environmental integrity of the mechanism is something that we're going to have to strengthen in this coming year in the lead up to COP28. So that's um, COP27 in a nutshell. Uh, I think it was. Uh, a difficult COP. Uh, the, it was a COP in which frustrations I think came very close to, to, to breaking point. Ultimately it achieved um, a significant milestone around loss and damage but it really did park uh, the most important aspect of these negotiations which is the global collective effort uh, to mitigate adapt and finance uh, a low carbon future. So on that note, I'll get back into the war. Thank you. Goodbye.